Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued blind let's play the casting of Frank Stone for the world of Dead by Daylight. My name is the Fatless Bar, this is your story channel, and today, ooh, uh, mm, I, I want to start off by thanking Arthas and Techno Trouble for their kind words on Discord because I raged uh, when I found out what actually happened. So I, as you know, I started a brand new game. And by starting a brand new game, I lost all my cutting floor progress. And I'm like, okay, that's no big deal. I'll just play the last hour um, by loading my previous save data. And I'll just play through the last hour. And it's not a big deal. The only problem is, when you decide to play a new game, and you choose a save file, it overwrites the save file. It doesn't add to the save file, it overwrites the save file. So basically, my cutting room floor is now gone forever. My first playthrough, it is impossible to recover the cutting room floor. What are you supposed to do? You're wondering. You're supposed to go to the very first chapter. You're supposed to go to the Cedar Steel Mill. And you see how this little thing is filling up with the, uh, by me holding down X. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to start a new game. You're supposed to go back and just reload from the first choice. Or the first scenario. <sighs> so it's all gone. It, it's all gone. And uh, I can do two things about it. Or three things about it. One, I can stop playing the game, which I don't want to do because I really like this game. Two, I can whine and complain about it, which I did on Discord. Again, thank you all for uh, listening to me uh, rent uh, vent. Uh, if you'd like to join our Discord, link is in the description below. Or three, I could just keep playing and don't really care about it. Just have fun. I mean, we didn't have a cutting room floor when we played the quarry. We just replayed the chapter over and over and over again. So that's what we're going to do. We're, we're just going to continue on. We're going to have some fun. And we're going to enjoy our ruthless failure run. And I guess... I mean, if you're going to say ruthless failure, I mean, a failure to properly load your data in the right way. I, I mean, that's the best way to begin the playthrough, is it not? <laughs> I mean, that's like the ultimate failure right there. So, yeah, uh, let, let's let, let's put that behind us and let's focus on what lies ahead. Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. I'm sorry that intro took a while. I just needed to say what was going on and hopefully, hopefully you don't do the same thing I did. A curiosity on Main Street. I mean, if one person is able to not lose their data because of that little spiel that I just gave, then that was worth every second of my rant. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's totally worth it. Oh, we did just have a new update as well. What a complete and utter disaster. And the update, I don't so think... Dramatic. I think Why'd it just made the game run better. Who needs a I'm real not really sure. When every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline. Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. The, the one big oh, problem is I don't no, have the choices to, to be able to say, I oh, I chose this way last yeah, time, so this time I'm gonna choose this way. But it's still good, unless, you know, you open well, it. hopefully that's not an issue. Whatever. I just gotta go yeah, with whatever my instincts tell me not to do. Dude, just let me be upset. Yes, let me be upset. That's how I felt Does earlier. Does <laughs> Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. 
For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Probing where the victims are puzzled. Ah. Which one did I choose last time? I'm unsure. Does it matter too much? I, I think I may have chosen puzzled. Let's go probing. Who are the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Excited? Or frustrated? Ooh. I, I'm, I, oh, man. This was my first playthrough. I'd be excited on the, on like, instantly. I'd be like, yes, let's go. But now, uh, you know, with this failure, frustrated. Seriously, guys, I just want to know why you withheld all this crucial murder mill information from me until now. It wasn't relevant. There's no world in which that's true. I need to know everything. <laughs> that's I love Chris. I know. Same. <sighs> There's got Not only does she rock green really well. You've got a library card. Look but she's up. got a great actor. Linda, can I borrow your library card? Mm, nope. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? We got that hush money from Sheriff Green. You really think 10 bucks is going to be enough? What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? I'm pretty sure S commented on that um, during our uh, previous uh, video and basically said what was being said in the background. Although I don't know if I had that up. Let me see if I can find that comment real quick. I can't. Darn it. It's not showing up. It's not showing up. Ah! Um, but yeah, if, if I find it, uh oh. Nope, I tried looking for it, but I couldn't find it. Uh, I, I think I think it's about uh, her being grounded or like ever or something. Uh, empathetic, you okay? Or jovial? Howdy, partner. Absolutely jovial. Yeah, screaming empathetic. Howdy, partner. How's life on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing, sorry. <laughs> Why is dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? You better not say I look like a fucking maid. He's just worried about mom. <laughs> More like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Shocked as we are or hopeful? Shocked. Jeez, Bonnie. That's pretty harsh. I don't mean it's not true. Well, maybe you should cut him a little slack, you know? This is hard for Oh, look at the outfit. They match too. perfectly. Yeah, well, you didn't have to put your whole life on hold and come all the way home from New York City and suddenly play mom while your own mom is sick. Serious or... Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Uh, either one is positive. Uh, let's not be supportive. No, let's not be supportive. Uh, although, they're both good responses. I know, I didn't have to do all that, but I wouldn't have done it, just like you, you know? Because family comes first. Family comes first? Is this an after-school special? <laughs> I'm trying to give you a compliment, Bonnie. Oh, what? 
ever. I, Dios, I gotta get out of this house, like, pronto. Um, so Bonnie probably could have been a good person to ask for some money to fix the camera. She gets art and stuff. Oh, dang it, we scared her away. Sale. Why don't we go try to get the camera fixed? If it's enough. I'd have been sitting around here all day. Can argue with that. <laughs> you decided Sheriff Green's money was not. I didn't decide anything, game! Don't tell me I decided something. I did not decide that. You're, right there. You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just. Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. <laughs> oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. I want to go to the drugstore. Again, that's the opposite side of this playthrough. Drugstore. I don't want to risk missing our chance. Are you sure? Curiosity Shop does look pretty cool. We can check it out after. Fair enough. Even though I'm not really exploring anything, so I'm missing a lot, it, it's still... You, you want to try to force as many different scenarios. So, who's going to do the honors? The honors? Talk to the clerk. You're afraid to talk to a drugstore clerk? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just... You just don't want to haggle, do you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I managed to swindle the sheriff out of his cold hard cash. That's got to count for something. I love how they remember so much in this game. It's so cool. They're just afraid. You're just afraid you're going to totally turf it and get ripped off. That's ridiculous. Oh, boy. I is right. That drugstore clerk's going to smell blood in the water a mile away. Maybe you should... Hold on. Hold on. I'll take care of it. No sweat. Going to get us the deal of the century. Good luck. Look around and talk to Linda. Uh, got a weird one for you. <laughs> this camera... Um, so... It's not pretty. The lens is busted. And I don't know if you guys are able to help with something like that, but we really need to get it fixed. So I just figured I'd come in and check. So, yeah. I was wondering if you could take a look at it and uh, let me know if it's something you could help us with. I may better wield his charm to get us a good deal. Again. So close to finishing the movie. Part of the Ruthless Failure one is I try not to look at things because looking at things could lead to beneficial outcomes. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Now I could probably find the, uh, the doohickey though because we still have those in our collection, right? Yeah, it's weird because uh, I lost all my cutting room floor stuff, but I still have all this stuff. Why is that? Oh, I, I forgot. We haven't looked at the, uh, the champion here. Forge and fire, molded by steel, immortalized on celluloid. Frank Stone is a monster built to realize the destiny of his promise. Now he has reached the other side of the forest, where he waits for the campfire grows weak, and the final trial will begin soon. The spirit. None feel the fear of betrayal like Rin y Yamayoka. And there resides the spirit of hatred that drove her father into murderous insanity, that tore her family apart and saw the Yamako estate fall into ruin. Her wrath is now an eternal one, and not even the deepest pit of hell knows a fury like this phantom wronged. The twins. That's so gross. Ugh. Charlotte and Victor share blood. A share of bond. Few siblings could understand. A bond that resisted the violent hatred that infected the 17th century French countryside. 
Well, all they had left was each other. They call him Devil Spawn, her a witch daughter, but these siblings are through with being victims of circumstance. If they're to be hated, they may as well be feared. The nurse, Sally Smithson, a gentle hand that delivers the touch of death. Her perfect life stole from her. Sally drifts through the halls of the Cortez Pen Asylum. Her mind is broken as one she only cared for. Now she offers no comfort, just a promise to put at once an end to their suffering. Blink once, and you might miss her, but she won't miss you. Okay, we've seen those. Uh, should I go ahead and get this? I mean, I could get this in my redemption run. And once again, I'm kind of afraid to do anything that may influence a choice. So I purposely do as little as possible. I, I still like the quarry. How when I got to the end of the quarry playthrough with absolutely no clues, the game I if Linda's found anything cool. basically mocked you for finding not a single clue. That was the coolest thing ever. Man, if this is a bust and we can't finish the movie, fucking tragic. Yeah. I think if the world's deprived of murder mill, there's an outside chance it'll keep turning. Come on. Linda, what's the deal? Like, generally speaking? This movie's only gonna be good if all of us care about making it good. Chris, what do you think is actually gonna happen with this movie? We're gonna finish it? Then I guess we'll try to find someone to release it or show it or... No, no, I mean, oh, do you think we're making something that's not gonna suck? <laughs> uh, I don't want to get close to Jamie. But I don't want to be optimistic. But being reflective could insult her. So let's go that. Because Jamie's not here. Or well, Jaime's not here. Sorry, Jaime. I don't know. I'm not a film critic, but... Even if people hate it, at least I got closer to Jaime. Uh, so where does that leave me? What do you mean? I'm not making this movie to get closer to a boy. That's not why I'm making it. I just said... Hey, no one's forcing you to work on the film. You can uh, leave antagonism. anytime you want. Perfect. I don't want to leave. I just... Never mind. Excuse me, young lady. Uh -huh. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, Perfect. hey you. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. You quit working at the library? Ah, those are just volunteer hours. Now you're looking at an honest-to-goodness working stiff. Oh, income security is a very attractive quality in a man. So is access to book reservations. Linda's got a very pretty smile. Hey. So... Bad news and good news. Bad news first, always. The bad news is they can't fix the camera. Ah, 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 ah. Don't you want to hear the good news? What's the, the store good next news? door can? The good news is Robert Green's working in the drugstore now. Ta da. Uh, we already knew that. Yeah, for like at least 30 seconds. Keep up with the times, Jaime. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep up. <laughs> Curiosity shop's probably still open if you want to see if they'll fix it. Yeah, let's head over there. What's the camera for? Dude, we're making the most killer horror movie the world's ever seen. No shit. Well, we were, until your dad broke our camera. He did what? It was an accident. We were shooting at the old mill, and he was not pleased. <sighs> I'm not surprised. He's always got his eye on that place. He already kicked us out once. But I don't think there's anything on the planet that's going to stop our... Director from finishing her magnum opus. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but there's more than one way into that mill. Oh, really? If you get the camera situation sorted out, you let me know. Message received. Let's just check it out. It's not like we have anything to lose. Come on! All right, let's head to the uh, curiosity shop now. I wonder if we're gonna see her, uh, Man, her image flash into the store. Better, say this place looks like it's I wonder how many good. times that happened in the game that I missed. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh. These look like they've seen better days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. 
gotta look inside. Shall we? If this is a trap, and we're walking right into the lair of the tchotchke chopper, I'm selling you out first chance I get. <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder how many times I may have missed her flashing into the screen. If it's the only time it happens or if it happens Let's all throughout the game. Take a look around and see what we can find. How can you find anything in a place like this? Getting lost is half the fun. M maybe nobody's home. Bummer. I was hoping to show off how good I am at haggling. And again. If we find a camera, we could just walk on out with it. That's not. Oh, please tell me I can do that. You should just steal something. That'd be great. Who's gonna notice? Complaining, right? Who's gonna notice? Who's gonna notice? There's like a bajillion things in this place. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. I just want to get this movie made any way we can. Why don't we spread out? Start over there. So it's a shop for camera equipment. Okay, so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a hold it X. Because a hold it X means a scene transition. been thinking about gothic romance novels yes but no about the movie i think we could really strengthen the narrative if we just shoot an extra scene like what kind of extra scene there's there. i don't know a scene where they talk a little bit about who they're trying to save and oh uh, yeah i don't care why <laughs> that's so wrong <laughs> that's so wrong Oh my god, jeez. I'm glad to see you're all having fun. But if you insist on using my store as a playground, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to take it outside. Oh, that was great. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just make sure you put it back where you found it. Wait, we're just looking for something to replace this? Oh, I see. We're making a film. And we broke it. Got anything that could help us? With all the cameras in the window, we just thought we'd see. There was one thing. I'm just not sure I still have it. I'll have to look in my back room for a few moments, if you don't mind waiting. We don't mind. I'll just be a minute. We never got the milk. Ten to one, she brings as a photo camera <laughs> or a telescope. Shh, telescope. <laughs> Could it have been in? No, maybe in this one. Oh, yes. Here you are. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so pumped. <laughs> You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm -hmm. I got her haggle. How much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? I wish we could actually say it was cheaper. Ten bucks. Uh, it feels a little high. That's interesting. Wasn't it twenty dollars before? Question mark? Like, I could have sworn it was $20 in our last playthrough, wasn't it? 
Ah. Doubtful. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. Oh? One of a kind. Handmade. It's for luck. Why do I get the feeling that this is gonna screw me over? Oh, that that's that's tough. That right there is tough, my friends, because on one hand, you know this lady's gonna screw us over with this item. On the other hand, being polite is not what I want to do. So I kinda had to I kinda had to make a decision here over do I think it's gonna screw me over more? Versus being polite, or should I not be polite, but not have that item later? <sighs> I think this item's gonna screw me because I know who she is. So I think I take it because anything that could cause me harm in the future is definitely something I should have. Let's take it. I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. It's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. So creepy. Question is, how much is that gonna score us over in the future? I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Yeah, like I said, I know who she was. So that's why I took the item, because I'm hoping that the item leads to massive misfortune. These walls have eyes, chapter four. <laughs> By the way, that last chapter, I think was a from a title on uh, Twilight Zone. Uh, the monsters on Main Street. So I think chapter three was a Twilight Zone title. I don't know if I like her outfit. These glasses look really weird on her. <laughs> I mean, they give her a, a sense of forebodingness and mystery, but at the same time, it's it's kind of weird. Uh, probing. Screw being nice. Bad dream? Although I like the aviator outfit. Ugh. I like a little cat How long was I out? I thing as well. I don't even remember following. Kind of reminds me of Trunks from Dragon Ball Z when he was a baby. 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine Yeah, I just mentioned that because I've been, been was... watching Dragon Ball Z, Last. so. <laughs> she said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the 1,000-foot-long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand. 
feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. Well, so they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> Dismissive or commanding? That's tough. That's tough, because they're both good. Let's go with dismissive. I... I think I'm good here. You're lost. Talk to Maddie. All right, let's do that right away. So, uh, uh, murder mill? I'm guessing it's not a romantic comedy. Years back, there was this killer. Frank Stone. It's got a great he used to outfit. His victims at the old Cedar Steel Mill. Frank Stone. I think I've heard of him. Doc, come on. Do you really think Augustine might be up to something? Like, do you think she isn't going to follow through on her uh, offers? Cynical or dubious? Uh, dubious. Speaking from experience, don't get your hopes up. Why? Talk is cheap. That was it? All right. Hey, you guys might want to come take a look. Well, can you open the door? There we go. Wrong door. Why don't we go look around together? Unless you want to stay here by yourself? Okay. Oh, never thought your little Maddie Bear would end up in a place like this, huh? That? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Never mind. What were you shouting about? Look at this place. You should shoot one of your movies here. Why? Because it's cool as hell. We might as well take a look around. Explore the atrium. Okay, how can I do this in as few ways as possible? Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got it cheap from a guy. 
He's got a guy who's got a pants. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? <laughs> a long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Quite possibly, literally Her a whole other lifetime. Jaime was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Very... Touching. Probing. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now, that is a very good question. Mm. And an expensive one, too. Mm. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Out of my way! Out of my way! Move, move, move! I don't care about being nice. Go you and your little puppy too. Alright, um... I, I think I may have wow. to do the items here. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. <laughs> Looks like it opens with a key. Yeah, I think I have to. Has a uh, unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. Linda's probably thinking, "What a swore I, I had this not getting through that vague memory of dying here. Wonder what that is. Like a shiver just went through my soul. In another lifetime, perhaps something bad happened on these stairs." Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to open up this door. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. You gotta talk to Maddie. Yeah? Now, what would you do? You'd really get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. <laughs> Talking to someone special? What? I, um, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, Bonnie? Perhaps? I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up it never gets easier when you lose someone but it does become less suffocating i hope so because sometimes i just feel like i'm going crazy like she really is out there guiding me trying to tell me something that's why i came here it felt like that's what she wanted me to do I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Kurt. I, uh... To be honest, 
I don't think it's a good idea to dwell on the past. It's very easy to get stuck looking the wrong way. Until you don't even see what's coming right in your path. Yeah, you're probably right. I just... I don't know if I'm ready to move on yet. That's understandable. But I'd be careful. Wearing that kind of grief on your sleeve makes you vulnerable. What do you mean? I don't want you putting too many expectations on whatever you hope to get out of this. You mean from Augustine? Hey. Hey, guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! Concerned or flip it? Flip it! Great. If this plot gets any thicker, it's gonna need a new pair of jeans. <laughs> um, do you guys think we should be worried? I mean, what if they're dangerous? Maybe we should find Augustine and let her know. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got Absolutely. A point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Oh yeah, now. Oh, this is the uh Yeah. The Phantom of Cedar Still. Of course the Phantom of the Opera reference. God, I love that. It's such a beautiful it's them so long. Beautiful opera. I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. Van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. They find it controlling. Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Side it, right in time. I see. Can I keep it down? Whoa, 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 guys! You gotta keep it down. I don't want Pony to hear us. Okay, so, we all ready to start this production meeting? We got a heck of a night ahead of us. Hope you're all ready to get a little dirty. Always ready to get a little dirty. That's what I wanna hear. Oh, God. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane, it's all right there. No. Tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. I can't take all the credit. I had a little help from my uh, <sighs> assistant. It was nothing. Hey, modesty free <laughs> zone. I think I would have given up about eight dozen times if this guy hadn't been there to cheer me on. Just doing my job. <laughs> That Ooh, we lost relationship with Now that you are Chris. an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. I still wish everyone got their own unique outfit, though. I, I like how it's different out outfits. Don't get me wrong. Whoa. It was just, I was like more. Wait, where's Sheriff Green? Ah, uh, yeah. So, Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah. And Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. 
and Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Subdued or uneasy? I know I chose uneasy last time, but I still think that's the most negative thing we can say. So let's go with the most negative thing I can say. Let's bring the uh, the room temperature down. Stone's victims brood. Or up. Real people. Whatever. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. We're not gonna exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. If I'm gonna sneak you back in there, you better make it good. He gets it. Approving or dupes. Again, even though I think we said this before, it's- you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about everything that happened there? I may, if it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris. Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. <laughs> what does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just kidding. Obviously. Obviously. Rob and I are going to look for any more locations in the mill connected to stone where we can shoot. And I'm going to go make this thing any way I have to. That'd be really cool if we could like ruin the uh relationship so much that um the game just ends. Like we never go to the middle of the game just ends. Oh, do you have red hair? Was that just the light? I hope no, that's just the light. Darn, that would have been awesome if he had like red streaks. Uh if I look at relationships, um Chris is not as high. I, I did side with her over the intent of the shot, which is something I probably shouldn't have done now look at it. But still, we have a lot more negatives here than positives, and she's giving me the weary eyes there. So I'm pretty sure that when we get to that uh, scene where we have a chance to break it off, I think we may be able to do that. Oh, what's that? What's that? So I talked to Linda. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of this. Mm. Understandable. Concern in Do you think I should worry about how tight they're getting after like one day? She barely knew Robert existed, and now they're inseparable. They're friends, Jaime. But sometimes friends both long for something more something passionate something okay stop <laughs> <laughs> i've been thinking about something for the movie take a look I i'm liking linda more in this playthrough for some reason i don't this. know why i came up with a new scene to shoot that she wrote yeah does chris i told chris about it last night oh she was into it we'll shoot it if we have time cool this furnished chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Ooh, pa oh, oh, <laughs> nice. I like it. Um, normally I would choose disapproving here because it's the negative, but the word petty just strikes me as you got to choose that. I mean, come on. Chris and Robert's research. <sighs> If you're really that worried about them, maybe this is something you should talk to Chris about. Okay, maybe I will. Okay, great. Totally great. Okay. Oh! Yes! Huh? What is- It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank! It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. 
that's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hey. Who's shooting what now? Dang, you're too uh, loud. Don't you say one more sneaky little word. But, uh, just tell me what you're shooting. We're not. I'm pretty sure I just heard your girlfriend say you were. No, 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 we're going to see a movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are. This true? Yeah. Okay, cool. What movie? Can I come? It's a, it's um. Curse of the Midnight Sun. Uh, wow, that was fast. So it's about a sun at midnight. Yeah, I don't know if you'd like it. Sounds kind of dumb, but I guess if you guys are going. It's sort of a double date. Chris and I and Robert and I are lovers. <laughs> well, I guess we better be off then, or else we'll miss our movie. Where did that come from? Come on, guys. Let's make sure we leave enough time to get popcorn. There's no way I, I like did that in the, the first one, right? Cool. Where, where are all these variations coming Enjoy from? Enjoy the movie. Thanks. <laughs> See you, Bonnie. Bye. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mail. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> I love the music. It's so good. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Oh, look at the tree. Oh, careful. The tree had like First red lights coming something. out of it. First steps to do who 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 see. You'll ever see Groundhog Day? This way. I don't know if I caught that reference the first time, but that's definitely a Groundhog Day reference. Then I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually Okay. Two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol room. Yeah, well, your dad only has one eye. He won't Medium see us two? coming. Medium two is wow, we that's cross harsh. to the other side, where we're a <laughs> lot sorry. further away from my dad. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's also going to take a bit longer. Oh, that's, that's a ruthless okay. failure. It, it, it right messes with my bird brain. So, which way? Uh, we are going to climb this time. Opposite. Let's keep this as simple as possible and not waste any time. Okay, okay. We just have to be careful about my dad. We will. Hop on over. Ah, don't worry. The pirate won't see us. He's out hunting that white whale. Your dad Arr. really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Hmm. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, Nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. Had a cool title, though. I don't want to miss this lore here. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I think I've already seen that, though. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Yeah, it seems the same either way. 
And yeah, I know there was an item back there, but like I said, I'm I'm ignoring all the items in this run. It's my dad. Everybody hide. Oh, can we fail to hide? Please tell me we can fail to hide. Please tell me we can fail it. Come on, come on. Mm. This outfit's so cool. Anyone there? Just those chickens. Uh, getting too old for this. Dang it! Can't believe they don't let us fail like that there. He won't come back this way again. Let's go. There's a surprising lack of uh, QTEs in this game sometimes. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find. It's almost inside. like the game relies on your choices a lot more than your QTEs. But QTEs are still important when they're important. <laughs> QTEs are still important when they're important? Wait, oh, that makes no absolutely sense! Sure. You know what I mean. This is safe, and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft whirling fan blades. I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit. Bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. <laughs> be prepared. All right, I think I will stop for here on the day, though. Got a lot done. Doing pretty well. Uh, we're, uh, I'm gonna, you know, this playthrough will go by faster than my previous one because we're, you know, beelining events rather than explore and do other things. And then, of course, the redemption run is probably gonna be our longest playthrough as we try to make sure we get everything we can. Uh, but either way, I love you all so very much. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazingly awesome day. And until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.